Hello once again everyone. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to download mods onto Minecraft Bedrock. I know you guys can get them from the Microsoft Store, but there's also a way to get more mods from uh, the CurseForge website, which I will be linking in the description of this video. And I really hope this video is helpful. And if it is, be sure to click that subscribe button, guys. Um, we're trying to hit 2.5K subs, and hopefully we can get there soon. Also, be sure to join the Discord server, guys, listed in the description of this video as well. I will also have the mod pack we're using in this video listed in the description. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So, for this tutorial, we are going to be using a mod called More Tools Add-On. Um, like I said, everything will be listed in the description of this video, including all the links that you guys need to our Discord server, to uh, the CurseForge website. And like I said, this is from CurseForge, which I'm sure many of you guys have heard of. Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into this because I know you guys want to get to the juicy bit. So, you guys are going to go ahead and open up a web browser of your choosing, and um, the link in the description of this video will bring you to this website right here all you guys got to do is click the download button and it'll bring you to this page right here leave it open or the timer will stop at least that's what it does on my end once it's downloaded though guys you're gonna want to go ahead and go to your downloads folder I already got it downloaded as you guys can see um, you're gonna double click it and it's gonna say import started it's gonna say failed on my end like there because it's already been installed to uh, my game um, but it'll say successfully installed the uh, mod pack. So how you're going to want to do this though, guys, um, is go, you're going to go ahead and uh, click on, you know, play game, going to create a new world. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's allow cheats. This way I can show you guys what there is and all that fun stuff. You're going to go to your resource packs. Um, now you want to do this, create in the world. You can do it after, but preferably before you create the world. Um, you're going to go ahead and click on owned and you're going to scroll down to the uh, more tools add-on. I apologize. Activate it. You're going to do the same thing in your behavior pack and you're going to go ahead and activate the more tools add-on just like that. And all you're going to do is create your world. And once you get loaded into your world, the mod should be active. But I do want to say... Um, Whenever you guys download a mod from CurseForge, always read, you know, the instructions because the majority of the time the developer will leave you guys with instructions on what to do. And the reason I chose this mod pack is because it's fairly simple, it's straight to the point, but always read um, the description before downloading it because they might have a special way you need to install it or the mod may not work properly. Um, but with all that being said, um, after uh, following everything in order, your mod should be installed. As you guys can see, we got some more tools. We got some totem of piglin protection. <laughs> All right. Um, we got some fun tourmalin chest plates. But yeah. Uh, oh, and my favorite thing is the uh, Echo, um, the Warden helmet, the Warden armor. That That's all pretty cool. But yeah, um, if this video was helpful, like I said, guys, be sure to click that subscribe button, guys. It helps out a lot, guys. We are aiming for 2.5K subs. I appreciate the support, guys, and I really hope that I was able to help you. If you guys have any questions, uh, be sure to comment them. I'll answer them the best that I can. Um, but without further ado, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later.